A murder trial that began last Monday ended just four days after the case was dismissed. And it turns out evidence that could have cleared the man on trial was not given to his attorneys. That's against the law. And Taylor Alanis is in the studio to explain how that happened. Jared Naranjo was accused of killing 30-year-old Frederick Rice in July of last year. News of the dismissal has Rice's family very upset. They said, well, we did our due diligence, but they did not. They did not do their jobs to make sure my son had justice for it. All I wanted was to go through the trial, let the jurors determine whether or not he was going to be found guilty or not. Angela Scales is left without a son and no answers as to the circumstances surrounding his death. Frederick Rice leaves behind two children, now ages 8 and 18. And he's so angry. You know, this is the time we're supposed to trust God. But he's like, I don't trust God. And I'm believing God, he let this happen. Jared Naranjo was accused of Rice's murder, but his case was dismissed. We reached out to District Attorney Mark Gonzalez to get details on the dismissal and set up an interview, but he has not returned our calls nor texts. However, Chris 6 News obtained documents that show there was a violation of law involved because evidence that could have cleared Naranjo was withheld from his defense team. Yeah, Deputy Chief that. James Lerma with well, CCPD Criminal Investigation that. says there was a miscommunication between a detective and a digital forensic technician about the evidence. There was some evidence that had been downloaded. Our detective didn't know it had been downloaded yet, so she conveyed that to the prosecutor. Lerma says they even turned the case over to the prosecution. It wasn't caught then, and then once again during case preparation for the trial, it wasn't caught there as well. Attorney Eric Perkins says it's serious, intentional or not. We, as defense attorneys, are entitled to all the evidence, good, bad, or otherwise. And we don't even have to ask for it. Perkins says the DA's office must come up with a solution to prevent these issues from continuing. It's no longer an issue whether winning or losing. It's that justice hasn't been done. And justice didn't get done because somebody didn't do their job correctly. There needs to be an investigation done. There needs to be some changes done. Because my fear is if this has happened to my son in his trial, where else has this happened? Lerma says they are disappointed that this case was dismissed. He says the police department will meet with the district attorney's office to address the mistakes to make sure they don't happen again.